How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to another very special adventure quest video and today we will be doing the spells tier list. Alright, so before I get started I just want to say that all tier lists are opinionated and everything that is presented in this video is purely my opinions. If you guys agree or disagree with me do let me know down in the comment section below. You can also join my discord the link is on the right hand side of the screen right now if you guys want to discuss on the tier list further. So all my opinions inside of this video are accurate at the time of this recording, which is on 28 September 2022. So as new spells get released in future and spells get changed here and there, the rankings may change. So if you want to know the most updated rankings or whether or not some spells are useful and whether some spells are useless, then you guys definitely want to subscribe to the channel and have your notifications turned on. We are reaching 3,000 subscribers very, very soon. So once we hit that... Uh, big 3000 mark i'll be doing a celebratory giveaway and it will be a three part giveaway so if you guys want to receive some free aps have a chance of receiving some free aps then definitely want to subscribe to the channel and of course share my channel to all of your friends whether they play adventure quest or whether they do not play the game and you want to introduce them to the game all right so without further ado let us get started with the video okay so today's video is going to be quite long i think because we have a lot to cover that's why i'm trying to you know rush through the introduction Alright, so the first spell, War Master's Burst. So this is based on old standard uh, overcharged Mastercraft fire spell. So it costs 97 HP at uh, level 150 to deal extra 45% damage. Mastercraft bonus, you get an extra 5% damage. Okay, so uh, if this gets updated, it will cost 313 HP. But right now, it only costs 97 HP. So this is the one of the best fire spells inside of the game second to destruction burst in fact i think this and destruction burst are tight all right so i'm going to put this at s tier because it's the best damage in terms of damage and uh so will all the burst spells so here we have destruction burst which is completely free fire and darkness if you're an offensive mage caster then you definitely want to get destruction burst you get both fire and darkness compression on top of that is the best uh, or strongest damaging spell in the game Cyceris Teleport Booth, same thing, 12,000 Z tokens, and same for your Volcanic Lightning, that one compresses fire and energy. Personally, I would skip this, uh, Volcanic Lightning or Pyroclastic Plasma, simply because Destruction Burst is free and it already has the fire element. Next up, we have your, I believe this is Hyper Ralphian Invocation, okay, or is this Lagoon Leviathan, oh my god. I believe this is, wait, no, 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 okay, this is... Lagoon Leviathan, I think. Okay, so this one has a 20% chance to do extra 25% damage. Not the strongest, but it is a free option. It is seasonal though. So, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, is this seasonal? Can you replay past Frostville events? No, you can't. So, you need to spend tokens to get the painting unless you already picked this up during 2017. Otherwise, you won't be able to get this. 20% uh, chance to do 25% damage, I guess. 1,500 tokens for the 2017 painting is still kind of cheap, so I am gonna put this... Is this worthy of a B tier? I think... Yeah... Low B, very low B tier, alright. World type, Mastercraft Water Spell, extra 4 BTH. Okay, so this one is for completely free players. Of course, it's getting a C tier, but you know, if you're completely free to play, you don't really have any other options. Win, this is your creation burst. Okay, so it compresses both... Wait, no. This is Arctic Tornado, sorry, Arctic Tornado. So you compress both ice and wind. So uh, same thing, just different compressing different elements. Borrow, okay, so your borrow spell, you deal 1.5 times damage. The monster heals 24% of the damage taken each turn for 5 turns for a total of 120% damage. So this is good for bursting, but if you can't burst the monster, then this spell isn't very good. And it is technically the top damage option for wind, but... Uh, if you don't end the fight quickly, then this is just a very, very bad spell. Okay, so this one is quite situational. I'm going to give it B. Okay, uh, I don't think it can go higher than that because most monsters have damage cap nowadays. So yeah, it's not going to be very good. Alright, and then your Legion's Violence uh, series of spells. Legion's Massacre, all of that uh, stuff. So this is in Ice and Dark Compression. But again, I will not recommend picking this up simply because you already have Dark Compression inside of Destruction Burst, which is completely free. So the four, destruction, the four Burst spells that I recommend picking up are the Teleport Booth, which compresses water and energy. Arctic Tornado, which compresses uh, wind and ice and 
last but not least creation burst which compresses both earth and light okay and then your free option you have destruction burst which compress both fire and dark so then you have all eight elements covered that was also what i personally got all right legion overlord blast so this is a ultra rare shop okay and it hasn't made a return ever since i'm not very sure i couldn't find the artwork for this but uh this is just a placeholder artwork so it's a overcharged mastercraft ice and darkness spell pay 145 HP at level 150 rather than extra MP to do more damage, I guess. This one, I would say, uh, I don't know, man. It's not more damage than the Legion's Violence. So this one, I'm going to give it an A tier. 145 HP is a pretty cheap cost. So yeah, but it's not the top damage option. Next up, Deploy Tree. It has 1.5 time lucky strike rate. This one has quite a lot of hits. So this is actually good, uh, pretty good for today's standards. And I'm going to give this an A tier. Then next up we have Frigid Fury, uh, your standard Mastercraft Ice Spell from the Spell Scroll Quest. C tier, completely free to play players. You can pick this up. Spectral Chains. This is a quick cast Mastercraft Ice Spell. You deal minus 37.5% damage. But uh, Mastercraft, you get a shot 5% damage. It cannot lucky strike, and it's only usable once per battle. That being said, though, it is quick cast, so you can spam this if you just uh, on the first turn, and then, you know, you can cast another damaging spell on top of that if you want to, you know, burst down the monster as quickly as possible. So because it is quick cast, I'm going to give it an A tier. Uh, creation Burst, let's see. Where is my Creation Burst? Oh, there it is. Okay, so Creation Burst, I'm going to put it here. All right. Zazilla Trample, Mastercraft Earth Spell, extra 5% damage, nothing to shout about. And this one, it is a token spell, pretty bad spell, so yeah, C tier, especially considering it's token. Gravity Crush from the Spell Scroll Quest, extra BTH, that's all, nothing to shout about, C tier. G versus K, I couldn't find the info subs for this one, okay, but it's an overcharge of an energy spell, it costs... Uh, 856 MP for the max level version so this is actually pretty expensive and I would say it is really not that great okay uh, it is overcharged meaning it will do more damage but the hefty cost so I'm going to put it at B tier all right Sizzler uh, Splosion Mastercraft of spell deals minus 35% damage but auto hits okay and Mastercraft you get a short 5% damage it's auto hit so it can be useful in certain situations it's a niche spell but uh, auto hit will you really be are there a lot of monsters in the game that dodge a lot and would you really want an auto hit spell like would you really want to sacrifice a spell slot just to make sure you have a weak auto hit spell I don't know man but I think it's niche Against monsters with super high blocking, like maybe your Star Slayer or maybe your uh, Wind Dragon, Essence of Wind Dragon, this could be okay. So I'm going to give it B tier. Knife to Meet You, basically the Earth version of the uh, Spectral Chains here. So it's Earth and it's Quick Cast, so A tier. Next, Energy. Energy, Energy. Uh, Vidrious Judgment. Okay, so it's an old standard Mastercraft Energy spell. You pay 162 HP. At level 150 for auto hit mastercraft plus 10% damage if monster is attacked affected by burn again this one uh it's another auto hit spell very situational but you do get extra damage to the monster if you're playing a burn build very situational though so b tier i don't think it can go higher than that pixel storm used to be the best energy damaging energy spell a long long time ago but right now it's not that good perma rare from a frost veil gift box so you can no longer get it 8% chance to deal 1.625 times damage. 8% is really bad. So yeah, right now it is C tier. Truth Mask Search. Okay, uh, it's a standard energy spell. Minus 10. Wait, no. Uh, minus 10 BT. Oh my god, I forgot to add this in. Very sorry, guys. Okay, Truth Mask Search. Uh, minus 10 BTH lean. Top non-premium damage option for energy. So if you're completely free to play player, you can get this. It is 5 hits. So it is pretty good against any... Uh, of the damage cap bosses inside of the game i'm going to give truth mask such a b tier okay put this in there sorry i don't have the picture for that mega hyper giga shock standard uh energy spell 10 bth lean very very weak okay it is six hits though so this is also pretty good for uh anything that has a damage cap so b tier because of the high number of hits mystic kaiju blast extra 10 percent damage versus enemies with less than or uh zero equal to zero or less than zero strength so this one yeah c tier considering that it's token as well just very bad overall 
All right, next up we have Light. Gatekeeper Seal. Mastercraft Light Spell, extra 5% damage. If you're free to play, you can get this. Otherwise, don't get it at all. Starforge, same thing for BTH from the Spell Scroll quest. This is from Guardian Shock. And this is from Spell Scroll. Okay, uh, your soul burns bright as a beacon. It's an old standard melee light spell. Uses endurance for stat damage. Causes 151 HP at level 150 rather than MP. And you attempt to inflict a power 0 0.5 time light burn for 4 turns. Zero save bonus player endurance versus overlap versus monsters dexterity overlap. So if you want to play a burn build, I guess you can get this. 0 0.5 is kind of weak. So for me, I would say I'm only going to give this a C tier. Yeah, 0 0.5 is very weak. Alright, now moving on. Archmage Research. Okay, so this one has a, is an old standard uh, harm spell. It has three options. You have your summon mana spirit. I'm not going to take in all the summoning spells. I forgot to mention that at the start. So yeah, all the summon gas spells, they will be classified as gases in my guest tier list when that comes out. So I will not be putting them in the spells tier list. Okay, so we'll ignore the summon mana spirit. Dissipate mana. This one damages enemies MP. So this is quite unique because we don't really have many sources of uh, MP damage in the game. That being said, not many enemies actually make use of MP. More enemies make use of SP more often than not. So it's really not that useful. Useful. And then shape mana, uh, damage HP, but uh, you do harm damage. Okay, so this one quite versatile, but uh, niche. Yeah, niche. So I'm going to give it B tier. Can be useful somewhat because it has harm damage inside of it. But uh, other than the harm damage, I don't really think it will go any higher. Might be A for the harm damage alone. Do I want to put this as A? Hmm. Uh... The shape mana does deal full damage instead of taking minus 10% harm penalty though. And of course, based off, it's based off the old standards. You know what, I'm going to give it A because it has uh, harm damage inside of it and you don't get a penalty. Siphon, oh this one, is a mastercraft harm spell, we can choose between 3 versions to cast. First one, okay, MP spell, and then you heal your HP equal to the damage done. Second one, it causes nothing to use and it heals your MP and the third one it causes SP and you heal your MP so this is very versatile healing spell and on its own it is actually very weak okay but if you stack it with a bunch of boosters then this is a crazy crazy strong healing spell that being said it is uh reliant on stacking other forms of damage boost elemental vulnerability all that sort of stuff so i don't think this can go up to s but i'm going to give it a for its versatility and uh you know harm damage right mana regen you sacrifice 297 hp to gain a significant amount of mp it's also built into your generalist ropes if you want that but you know there's other ways of healing mp in the game and the most straightforward and easiest option for everybody is obviously to chuck a mana pot so this one i would say i'm gonna give it a c but of course if you don't have many mana uh many potions like maybe you're an adventure you can consider bringing this but then again i'll rather just bring generalist ropes because it's already compressed inside of it rather than you know wasting a spell slot on it so yeah c tier multi-elemental eye of chaos so uh omni elemental spell deals 1.211 times damage to compensate this is very niche okay uh usually you don't want to use omni elemental spells but for monsters like the silk screamer this spell is super duper handy and for monsters with balance resist or you know void dragons yep this is a good spell to have but other than that it's quite niche so i'm going to give it a b tier and then your compassion spells, you have Embrace the Shadows. This is a super duper old spell. Okay, and it element seeks between light and dark, but the flavor effect is that it attempts to hit you for about 16 to 48. Light of darkness damage at level 150, and this can be dodged and is treated as the player hitting themselves. Uh, with all of the recent like new spells nowadays, this is not that good anymore. So yeah, C tier for me. Moving on, we have your Fireball Z. Where is Fireball Z? Pretty sure I put it in here. Yep. One of the best spells in the game right now, simply because of the stupid damage caps that we keep seeing from all the bosses. And I'm not sure if I made this known before, but yeah, I'd much rather have tanky monsters with no damage cap rather than, you know, squishy monsters but with annoying damage cap so right now this is the one of the best spells in the game for its multi hits and its ability to surpass the damage cap so s tier for me all right so for status spells we have your local explosion explosion 
So you deal reduced damage and it has a chance to paralyze for one turn. If paralyze chance is over 100%, uh, it has a chance to paralyze for two turns. Zero save bonus, players intellect over luck. Versus monsters, charisma over luck. Paralyze, this one, I think it's okay, but really it's situational. So B tier, 74th law. You deal, uh, this spell doesn't do a lot of damage, but it attempts to inflict two statuses. One is a 3.17 fire burn for two turns, that's actually pretty strong. And the second one is a power 0.407 times fire resist times hits over attempts uh, bleed. So you get both burn and bleed in one skill, and uh, in one spell, sorry. And this is basically a status bomb type of spell. On its own, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but if you know, uh, you stack it with elemental vulnerability, you will boost it up. I believe Brady Simmons has showcased this. This can do a significant amount of damage. On top of that, you are inflicting too strong damage over time effects. So I'm going to give this A tier. Seeing red, okay, you deal reduce damage to inflict panic on the foe. This is good for creatures having two shenanigans, but uh, you have to use it with creatures having two for it to be useful. Other than that, panic on its own, I think it's pretty meh. So, you know what, I am going to give it B tier. Yeah, if you use with, uh, no, not creatures having two, if you use with Fey Wanderer, sorry, yeah, Fey Wanderer. If you use with Fey Wanderer, this gets bumped up to an A or maybe even an S tier, but that is really, the credit really goes to Fey Wanderer. Not so much of the spell alone. So B tier solely because Fey Wanderer exists. And same for Janias Orb of Power here, which also inflicts panic. Right, burning question. Mastercraft fire spell, you do half damage, attempt to inflict. Power 2 fire burn for something something turns. Uh, the power 2 is not bad. Yeah, the power... Hmm. Burn also deals damage equal to something something. Oh, so you will not only damage the HP, but also damage the SP as well. So you know what? 49 per 2 power at level 150. Wow. This is a small number, but better than nothing. Power 2 fire burn, I think it's not bad. Low A or high B tier? I am gonna give it high B tier. Yeah, I don't think I can justify putting this as A tier. Alright, water. Torrenticles. Uh, Mastercraft water spell. You do reduce damage. Chance to paralyze. Same as the explosion spell, I think. Just the water variant. Win. Low, no lemons, no melon. Okay. Deal mass 20% damage. Attempt to inflict control. Okay. Uh, rounded. Ran will not inflict if rounded to 0. Plus 20 save bonus. So this is actually form of inflicting control. It's alright, but not that good. B tier. Green envy. This one attempts to inflict uh, days. Alright. So these are all just stun effects. Basically... Uh, based on different elements, you have your paralyze, your stun, your daze, your control, whatnot. Yeah, but control, the enemy also has a chance of hitting itself for harm damage. So control is slightly better than your other daze effects. But that being said, though, I think they are all still B tier. Yeah, I don't think I can go higher. Ice chocolate syrup deals half damage. Okay, if a hit deals greater than zero damage, attempts to inflict daze. Okay, so once again, B tier. Candy cane cataclysm deals minus 30% damage. And chance to paralyze. Okay, this is the ice variant of ice variant of what again? Ice variant of the winds. Wait, no, ice variant of the torrenticles. Yeah, basically ice variant of torrenticles. So B tier. Earth mandate. Okay, so this is your earth version of your seventy uh, fourth law basically and but this does very different things so it inflicts two statuses again minus ninety percent damage so you it deals very low damage but you can buff it up with other empowerment with uh, elemental vulnerability to make it do quite a lot of damage so it inflicts choke as well as blind so these two don't really have good synergy but you can technically use the choke as a plan B in case the enemy gets past the blind so yeah this is another status bomb spell oh no I would say a tier yeah. Not bad, pretty good. Glimpse of the Mountain, Mastercraft Earth Spell, deal minus 57.6% damage. Uh, attempts to petrify for one turn. So petrify means you'll increase the monster's wind resist uh, by the earth resist. So this is slightly better. On top of that, it is also a stun. So this is just slightly better than the other stun spells. But is it worth an A tier? I would say no, okay, I am still going to give it B, but this is high B compared to the rest here, they are low B, alright. 
Evil Pencil, Mastercraft Earth Spell, deals minus 10% damage, attempts to permanently reduce the monster's MRM for the entire battle. Okay, player intellect over luck versus monsters endurance over luck. So it's basically defense loss, but defense loss is quite a worthless status nowadays. So yeah, C tier for me. You would rather just go for auto hit rather than defense loss. Energy, okay, this one is quite hard to see. Blood, Ruby, Rain. Okay, inflict hypersalinate for one turn. Basically same as Glimpse of the Mountain, but for water and energy resist instead. So B tier. Thunder Wave, okay, Mastercraft energy spell deals minus 30% damage, uh, chance to paralyze. So your energy variant of your chocolate syrup and your candy cane cataclysm. Light Ornament Golem Smash, Mastercraft Light Spell deals half damage, attempts to inflict choke. Okay, uh this one I'll say B tier also. You do need to spam it quite a few times for the choke to be good, but you know, ever since I got the donation armor this year, I realized how strong of a status choke actually is. That being said, uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage on its own, and you need to spam it to make the choke actually good, and it's also dependent on the monster's light resist. So I'm going to give it B tier for this one. Graveyard Smash. Uh, Daze. So your Darkness variant of your... Uh, this... Of glimpse of the mountain, candy cane cataclysm. No, not glimpse of the mountain. Sorry, uh, darkness variant of your candy cane spell. All right, absolute darkness. Pretty unique spell. It's an overcharged mastercraft darkness spell. Causes 871 MP at level 150. So this is pretty expensive. You deal mass 45% damage, but you apply a two-turn darkness elemental empowerment, extra 25% damage to you before calculating the damage, and it also attempts to inflict a permanent. Uh, Blind on the monster based off the monster's dark resist for 9999 turns. There's quite a lot of shenanigans with the blind skill, so this one I am actually going to give it A. Yeah, it does two things pretty well, even it even if it is pretty expensive, but uh the shenanigans you can do with the blind, I think some people have tried to exploit that uh to some very good success. Was it Brady? Or was was it someone else? I can't remember, but yeah, A tier for me. Um, runic Binding, Overcharge, Mastercraft, Harm Spell, deals minus 10% damage because it's Harm Element, and Mastercraft reduces this penalty to 5%. Causes 871 MP at level 150, and deals minus 44% damage to apply a 4 turn Elemental Empowerment before calculating damage, so extra 10% damage for 4 turns, and on top of that, attempts to inflict a 16.8% Omni Elemental Vulnerability for uh, select number of turns based off how many uh, hits it has. Zero save bonus, players intellect overlap versus monsters intellect overlap. And this gives you both elemental empowerment and elemental vulnerability on the monster. Even if it is expensive, I still think it's pretty good. So I'm going to give this A tier. Might even be S tier. Will this be S tier? You know what? I think I might give this S tier. Yeah, it does boost your damage by a lot. Alright, so S tier for me. Next up. Uh, what do we have here? This is your body something something, right? I can't remember what's the name of this. Your body burns as bright as a something or your body heals at the speed of something. Yeah, uh, this one, give me a moment. I'm going to pause the video and take a look here. Okay, your body heals at the speed of light. So it's a range healing spell. You use dexterity for stat damage. Healing is also modified by the enemy's light resist. So this is quite dependent on the enemy's light resist, which makes it not that good. And uh, Mastercraft is that it has a 14% chance to grant celerity to the player, the pet, as well as the guest. And this has zero save. Inflict dexterity over luck, resist with luck over intellect. This one, quite interesting because of the small chance to grant you celerity. But 14% isn't a lot. And on top of that, uh, the fact that you have to depend on the enemy's light resist... Uh, I'm going to give this B solely because there is the chance to get celerity, even if it's a small chance. Yep, B tier, but definitely low B. Alright, then you have your Void Dragon Blitz or Void Dragon Assault. Harm spell deals minus 10% damage due to dealing harm element damage. And Mastercraft is a chance of auto-hitting. So uh, B tier because it is always useful and uh, for harm element. And on top of that, chance to auto-hit, that's quite nice. Alright, next up, let's see here, uh, what's this spell? I think it's the 1000 Lance Strike, right? Yeah, 1000 Lance Strike, uh, Overcharge, Mastercraft, Wind, Charisma spell, 
0.2 base random lean, so it's pretty consistent and a minus 10 BTH lean. Causes 4 third of a standard charisma spell, so causes 653. SP at level 150 and deals 250 over 12% damage due to being overcharged. Mastercraft, you get 4.25 times BTH. This is good for Beast Masters, but overall, uh, as a Beast Master, you don't really have a lot of spells, so I would say this is actually. Yeah, B tier. Low B tier. Necromantic Wa is non Mastercrafter, it's a Wind Charisma spell. And yeah, you shouldn't use this unless you don't have 1000 Lunch Strike. 1000 Lunch Strike is seasonal, so if you haven't gotten it yet, you can consider using this. But C tier for me. Okay, for Beast Masters, I would say just stick to your guess and summon spells. Don't use all these damage spells, they are generally not very good. Alright, Scarab Swarm. Mastercraft Light Charisma spell, deal extra 10% damage. Uh, if the monster's average blocking is less than 54 at level 150, so yeah, not very good C tier. What else do we have? Tenacious Draco Leech Claws. Okay, so you have 5% uh, damage Mastercraft and the spell deals minus 15% damage the first time it's used, but deals extra 5% damage on the second use and 25% damage on the third and subsequent uses. So it gets stronger as the battle goes on, but that being said, we'll, you have to wait until you get the third casting and usually you can only cast like uh, SP spells like 3 or 4 times. So yeah, the fact that you have to sit through the two... Uh, the first two castings dealing average damage, yeah, not that good. So C tier might be okay for longer battles, but overall, I, I think there's just, uh, you know, the better ways to spend your resources. And then you have Flash Weaver, sh wait, no, okay, never mind, I didn't even, I don't even want to talk about that because it's crap. Okay, Sisters of Mercy, Mastercraft Charisma Healing Spell, deals minus 25.5% damage and applies a... Minus 50% damage taken or elemental shield for one turn. There was someone who recently said that this was OP and I find that pretty absurd. Like this most definitely isn't OP, but it's not the weakest thing in the world. Uh I'm going to give it B tier because you do get a uh 50% dam uh minus 50% damage taken or element shield for one turn. So yeah, I guess it's alright. B tier. Mending Vines and Purifying Poland. Okay, Mending Vines, it cures uh, Bleed and Burn. And then for Purifying Poland, cures Poison and Disease. Okay, attempts to remove. So it's not guaranteed, I think, at the cost of spell damage. Right, so this one, cure spells. I'm not such a big fan. C tier, I think it's better if you just, you know, try and shake it off yourself. Like, there's really no point wasting a turn trying to cure yourself when you can spend that turn killing the monster instead or you know just chugging a health pot right rarely do they uh do these statuses ever stack up to such a crazy amount that you need to cure them so i think it's better to you know just not use them at all next up your dragon guard so lucky strike unfortunately it did get nerfed so now the lucky strike rate is only for players okay it doesn't affect pet and guesses but uh this is still pretty good so i'm going to give it a tier because of the nerf i won't give it s tier if it was the old dragon guard this would have been s but right now it's a tier it is quick cast though wait is this quick cast no 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 this isn't quick cast sorry so yeah uh either way a tier new year surprise giving you extra bth good for monsters that you know uh have very high block rate like your essence of wind dragon but would you spend a turn no this one is quick cast but would you spend sp or mp casting this instead of you know using uh something that's auto hit i would say maybe yes maybe no uh b tier for me yeah but low b invincible star oh my god this i think has to be one of the strongest spells that ever came to the game it did get quite a heavy nerf so you do need to you know wait a few turns for it to recharge but that being said though uh if you can get past the recharge yeah this is insane it's quick cast and on top of that you grant a, uh you get an all element shield for one turn all right so the cooldown duration for the lesser star is two turns greater star is three turns and superstar is four turns so the potency for lesser star is 33 percent uh shield greater star 66 percent and superstar is 99 percent guys 
On top of that, uh, the cost is of course based off the power. So 312 MP or 234 SP for the lowest one, 625 MP or 469 SP for the standard one, and for the strongest one, it costs 937 MP or 703 SP. So of course, you want to use the, st the strongest one, especially if you're going to get hit with a nuke. You don't know what the nuke is going to be, but it literally doesn't matter because it cuts all damage by 99%. So yeah, S tier for this one. Okay, even after the nerf. Uh, Imano Edo, okay, uh, quick cast spell, grant study MRM for 2 turns, causes SP or MP. And this one, it is good with uh, dodge slash, build of obviously. You can use this in conjunction with big dictionary if you have that, but on its own, if you're not playing a dodge slash build, I think it's still okay, but I don't think I can justify giving a, uh, S tier. Probably A tier, but very low A tier, A minus for me. Terrapin Shell. Okay, scales based off endurance, increase blocking by 25 and grants 0.5 times damage taken of elemental shield for 3 turns. It's basically a worse version of Code Konami in my opinion. Simply because uh, Code Konami gives you 30 MRM, this one gives you 25 MRM. This one does give you an elemental shield but if you're trying to raise your blocking, chances are you won't get hit or you're trying not to get hit at all. So the element shield is kind of wasted. So yeah, this one have to be a B tier for me. Might even be C because Code Konami exists, so there really isn't a lot of reason to use this. But for now, low B tier. Then your step buff spells. Okay, the free version is of course Moonwalker's Grace. Step buff spells, I think I'm going to give them all S tier because they are quick cast. So if you really want to burst something, they are really uh, they are still good. They used to be better back when Purple Rain was still a thing, but uh, with the death of Purple Rain, they are still decent now, but not as good as they were previously. I think they are S minus. Yeah, very low on the S tier. Arcane M for intellect, Buffalo Beach Bot for strength, Una Poka for your charisma. Alright, and then now we have your imbues. Okay, Fire Dragon Talent. Okay, this is probably the best imbue spell in my opinion. It's a one turn fire imbue, grants 50% damage to weapon based attacks. Okay, so this is why fire is the strongest element inside of the game. So S tier for Fire Dragon Talent. Energy imbue is Thunder Wave Blade. Okay, it's also one turn energy imbue. And while the imbue is active, weapon based attacks attempts to inflict a paralyzed effect. Duration of the paralyzed is determined by damage dealt. It's not that good, so. Yeah, I'd rather have something that casts, uh, that does paralyze on the damage instead. So I'm going to do C tier. No point to imbue yourself with paralyze and then try to attempt to inflict the paralyze on the next turn. Might as well go for the paralyze trick, right? And there are spells that do that. So yeah, C tier. Light Lord's Blessing is a two turn light imbue. No special effects, but yeah, not very good. And I think I forgot. Yeah, I forgot to add in the picture for this one. But this one, uh, I am going to give it. C tier because there's no special effects, so yeah, C tier. Darkness, Terror, terror Fist, one turn darkness imbue, okay, weapon based attacks attempt to inflict fear effect. Okay, again, the terror set exists, so I would rather try and attempt to inflict terror directly rather than imbuing myself with this and then attempting to do terror. And because both of them are Z tokens, so it's a apples to apples comparison. I would rather spend the tokens to get the terror set and flick terror directly rather than imbuing myself with this spell and then attempting to inflict the terror. So because terror set exists, this is going to get a C tier. Alright, so others. Uh, sneak strike, one turn imbue. And it does not change your attack element. Weapon based attacks attempt to inflict a weapon element poison for 3 turns. Unfortunately, poison is not very strong. So yeah, C tier for me. And then Dragon Slayer Aura is a 2 turn element seeking in build. When fighting dragons, seek between your 8 standard elements plus harm and void. When fighting Dragon King or Draco, seek between 8 standard elements plus harm. And when fighting anything else, it does nothing. Very niche and uh, generally not that good. I would rather not waste the MP or the SP to cast this spell. Instead, I'd rather bring along a harm or void compression weapon or just a dragon slaying weapon if I'm facing off against a dragon. So C tier for this one. Time Killers 310. This one gives you hyper crit, same uh, category as Dragon Guard. So this one is also overcharged and I, but this one has an extra bonus effect as well. I think this one gives your pet and guess hyper crit as well, right? Uh, probably A tier, might be S. I'm going to put it in A tier for now. Uh, this one, Chromatic Channeling, oh my god. One of the most highly debatable spells that have came about recently. 
Chromatic channeling, I personally think is complete garbage, okay? Uh, it imbues your weapon to deal random element damage for a few turns, and then if you hit with your weapon, you can inflict a prismatic burn. And the burn also heals you, but of course, all this is quite dependent on the monster. It's very niche, it's only one hit, and yeah, random elements, so... In my opinion, this is just hot garbage. Like, I don't know why people even say it's good or it's like very good in niche situations. Your niche situations, literally, I can count with one hand how many of those situations it will be good in. And even in those very specific situations, there are probably better things that you can do with your resources than to cast this spell. So C tier for me, okay? Gandalfin uh, gives you a mana shield. This is good for mages or if you want to reduce the damage you take. So this is a high A tier. Alright, I don't think I can give it S tier, but uh, you can build it with Lucky Strikes and a bunch of stuff. So yeah, very, very high A tier. You can empower it though. You know what? S tier. Alright, S tier for me, Gandalfin. Uh, Transcendent Water of Immortality. This is basically your healing spell. It scales based off your endurance. So... HP potions exist. If you have endurance strain, you probably just want to use SP potions in uh, HP potions instead of this one. But uh, it's a nice to have. So B tier. All right, this one, uh, Draco Morgify turns your foe into a dragon. Again, niche and only if you want to use your dragon slaying equipment. But I don't know, man. C tier. Demomorphosis. Same thing uh, as Draco Morgify, but turns your foes into demons instead. And demons are strictly worse than dragons, so if there was a D tier, this would be D. But uh, Draco Morgify may be a C plus, and Demomorphosis may be a C minus. Alright, this one, uh, I believe this is Miraculous Recovery. So it's just a standard healing spell. Uh, gonna go with B. Or uh, should it be C? Hmm. Alright, and then there's your overcharge. Overcharge is not very efficient, the healing, but you know, if you need like an emergency healing, then you can use the overcharge. All these three healing spells are low B tier, yeah. And then, oh, there's one more, the Kiss of the Angel of Darkness. That one has a chance of giving you a potion as well upon the healing, but the healing is not very strong. So that one will go in B tier as well. So yeah, I'm sorry I missed out a few pictures, but if you guys have been watching the video, you will know uh, every single thing that I talked about. And that's it guys, my AQ spells tier list. Let me know down in the comments below whether you agree or disagree with this tier list. And if there's any other spells I missed out, please let me know down in the comment section below as well. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and have learned something from it. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbon Gaming. Peace out.